Welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olise, the son of Nube, and I'm coming back here with news on the sad state of affairs uh, that is happening in the northwest province, that is in Sirast, where members of the migrant community are under siege from members of the local community from some members of the local community rather uh, since sunday it is a worrying incident in which they say that one of the local men raped uh, a local girl and after that when the perpetrator was apprehended by members of the community before they killed him they wanted to know why he had committed this dastardly act and in the process he scapegoated a, a migrant and said that the migrant had sold him drugs so he said that he committed this offense while under the influence of drugs that he allegedly bought uh, from a member of the migrant community and in the ensuing melee the community killed this rape perpetrator or the alleged rapist but after that they then found a, a way of blaming the migrant community and they attacked migrants we speak here to one of the affected migrants yes we've got a big problem here and this problem started on sunday uh, we have been informed that there is one citizen who gets raped a woman south african who get raped after that they beat that citizen and they kill him straight uh, when they finish to kill that person and then they turn to us to say that as foreign as we are the one we are doing the things is not illegal in this country they need to starting beat us and then they beat some few people on that sunday in the night early in the morning we wake up we want to report on the police station the police station they refuse that they cannot open any case for us and when it was reached around six those team of community stand again they went the way our leader he went because we have been reported at police station and they didn't help us you know they went where our leaders was living and they enter in his house they beat him him and his whole family and his wife was pregnant they beat him even those neighbors they are close to the house even breaking some doors where they're living on that flat and they live like that. After that, they went in the street looking for any foreigner. They found him in the street. They beat him like that. No found that this war not was coming heavy for us. And on that day, when we just wake up in the morning, we want to report to the police station. They refuse again to help us for the first time again, for the second time. We go straight to the court. When we reach that to the court, we try to explain ourselves there. They send us back. We must go back to the to the police station so that they must help us when we reach again they they refuse they, again they cannot open any case for us and then we say like the way we don't want to help us it means that you know what is happening on us and we want to, these people they must finish us because even you government you can refuse to help us which person they can help us because the right now our life is not safe what we can see you now they're beating innocent people innocent people they don't know they're beating say that no they are selling drugs they are doing that and most of people they are always beating them they are very innocent we are innocent on this matter as in our kid and our wife we are in in big fear because we don't know who is next yesterday we didn't open our work because they have been saying that when we open our shop they can do something bad to us and we are afraid because we ran to the police they didn't even help us they refused they cannot help us no we are afraid you have been set at home we didn't do anything yesterday and when it was in the night they tell us again if it will come the one they've been doing on that sunday and monday it was not enough now they will do and again a, a they will they will do again a big things more than the one they're being doing because right now we've got a statement that they already killed two people and those two two people we are not sure is from which country and those pictures you say that they are moving moving around the media they were our brother congolese brother the one they're beating innocent people yeah that's why we need help from you my leaders 
we need help here we are suffering we don't know what we can do on this moment yesterday in the night they beat another brother our brother they find him just on the road he was working going buy something to the shop they beat him thank god because we have been already having a team that went there and ran straight and go and help that person we didn't sleep all we didn't sleep this night all of us we have been together that police station we have been seated there till it was early in the morning we just need your help you just need your help is just today we're expecting you to get help from outside because our leaders here for government they don't do anything for us please we beg you we beg you we beg you our life is on our life is not safe this site everyone is traumatized starting to us parents we're starting to our wife starting to the kid because if you can see what is going on they're beating a uh, someone like uh, i don't know you can see even the pictures when watching on the picture when you are live you see how they're beating people they undress all your clothes when they want to start beating you they pull water in your body and they're starting to beat you like a snake please we really need your help we really need your help please do something for us because our life is not safe this site thank you so much i know that this message will get it and we are expecting help from you we are expecting help from you because here we don't have where you can run we don't know where we can go in thank you so much this is the sad state of affairs of what africans are doing to each other based on nationalities and the generalization of migrants as perpetrators of crime or obvious haters and abettors in everything criminal that is happening in south africa by some members of the community not all of them of course because there are some africans who are we have come to the aid of these distressed uh, nationals but what we gather right now although we are yet to get uh, a comment from law enforcement agents including the police we are told that two members of the migrant community congolese community have been killed during this xenophobic attack and a number of others have had their tax shops raided and looted while others have reportedly been bent down this is what we had for you we are continuing to monitor the situation and we will in the next few days try and visit this area to provide coverage so that you will see what is actually happening in that area thank you don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so that at least these distressed people do get the help or that they are asking for